I had a question about from Andy about uh, remotes and this is a TV remote from a Philips and uh, well there's all kinds of patterns that they use because different companies have to use different patterns otherwise they get sued of course so there's just all different kinds and this is a, a laser receiver from the old Heathkit course that I took several years ago and let me turn it on That's the fluorescent light. But we can actually hear that's one, two, three. So you can hear that it's pulsed and modulated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and capture this pattern using an oscilloscope. And, and we'll see what they look like. And basically whatever the pattern is, the receiver uh, recognizes that pattern. and. Uh, if you got a pattern one, channel one will come up, and so on. Let me turn this off. The little differential amplifier in there, and the settings for it. Pretty neat little unit. This is the remote I'm using. Uh, Philips TV remote and all I'm doing is holding it like this and pushing the buttons and what's in this box right here isn't much Let me turn this over All I got in this box is a photo cell. And that's right here, that's the photo cell. And uh, I've got a black tube that goes through the box. That way when I got the box closed like this it's pretty well black inside and this works pretty good as a receiver and it doesn't cost much either. Okay I've got the remote set here. I'm going to push one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oops. Let me move that over so we can't get that to capture. There we go. Five. Six, seven, eight, there's nine, and ten.
Here are some close-ups of the captures that I did, and I'm starting from zero through nine, and I'm going to repeat these a few times. These patterns remind me of a key. Now if you take a look at this key, it has bumps and they're physical. But the patterns coming from this remote has bumps also in particular places. But these bumps coming from the remote are strictly in time. Thanks for watching.